Hello guys, welcome back. Today what we are going to do is method of thrust augmentation. In the previous classes, we have already understood how the thrust is produced, how the engine jet engine is operating. It was a very simple mechanism. Just for our introduction, let us do it once again. In the engine, there is first an inlet, which will increase the pressure. Then there is a compressor whose main work is to increase the pressure. After the compressor, we are got a diffuser section. And then the diffuser section, there was a combustion chamber in which we supply fuel air is coming from the front and fuel we are supplying over here. We are burning this. This exhaust gases will come out. They will rotate the turbine producing the thrust. Now what we are going to do is, if we want to increase the thrust for some reason, if we want to increase the thrust, then how we are going to augment it? That is what we are going to study over here. There are two ways in which the thrust can be augmented. One is the water injection, that is we put the water inside the engine, that will increase the thrust. Another one is having another combustion chamber behind, that is called as the afterburner, as the picture, you can see it in the picture. Okay, so we are going to today concentrate only on the water injection part. Afterburner will do it in the next class. Okay, let's go ahead here. So water injection, as the name itself suggests, what we are going to do, we are going to put the water into the engine. Many of you must have realized that when an aeroplane is flying, we are always saying that this is the engine, correct? So if this is the engine and it is continuously running, sometimes if the water goes inside, you must think that the water will go and extinguish the flame, then the engine should shut down. But that is not the case because when the water is entering the engine, it has to travel through different stages of compressor, right? There are many stages of compressor before it can enter into the combustion chamber. So when it is entering the com uh, compressor section itself, the temperature is so high that this water gets converted into water vapor. That is, it will become gas. That means we are actually increasing more amount of mass. Okay, We are carrying more amount of water means we are increasing the mass of the air. And as we know from the thrust formula, that if the mass increases, Thrust is also going to increase. Okay, so let us understand why do we use the water. Okay, the uh, sorry, why do we require an afterburner? So when the aeroplane, let us say this is our ground. Okay, when the aeroplane takes off and it reaches the height, let us say the aeroplane has reached this altitude. Okay, as we go higher and higher, the atmospheric pressure keeps on decreasing, and if the atmospheric pressure is decreasing, that means density of the air will also increase. Uh, decrease, sorry, right? If the density of the air is decreasing, that means mass of the air is decreasing. And if the mass decreases, thrust will decrease. So this leads to the reduction in the thrust. If I want to recover that thrust, we have to use the afterburner or this, okay? So then water injection method, when we use, we get 10 to 30% of the increase in the thrust, okay? Over the takeoff power, whatever is your actual takeoff power, if we use the water injection method, we will get 30% more amount of the thrust. This is a DGCA question. Okay, they will ask you in DGCA examination. Again, we can either use water or we can also use water and alcohol mixture. I'll tell you the uh, separation of both in a bit later. Just understand that if there is an engine, I put the water inside here, water will also increase my thrust. And if I put water and alcohol, that will also increase my thrust. The advantage with water alcohol is alcohol can act as a fuel. Okay. And the last point is the power rating. When we give the power rating to the engine, if we are calculating the power rating with the water inside it, that means when we are using the water injection, that time the thrust produced by the engine is called as a wet thrust. Again, a DGCA question. Both the underlying word are asked in DGCA. So when you calculate the power, with the water injection system on, it is called as a wet thrust. Okay, And when you calculate the power, when the water injection is off, that is called as a dry thrust. Okay, Alcohol, as I told you, alcohol will act as a fuel. It will increase your uh, thrust, but it is not that effective. Okay, Why it is not effective? Because the alcohol that we are inserting, okay, what we are doing is we are putting it in the front of the compressor. Okay. So from compressor to combustion chamber, before reaching the combustion chamber itself, it is getting utilized. So it does not get a proper combustion. Hence, we will not see that when we pack. Okay. So if I'm using only water, okay, I will get more thrust compared to when I'm using water and alcohol. Okay. This happens because that is same mass of water. Okay. Suppose I take 100 kgs of water. 
and water alcohol mixture is also 100 ki in this case i am talking that the water will be providing me more thrust why it provides more thrust because water has a characteristic of high latent heat of vaporization what is latent heat you have studied it in your 8th standard or in 12th standard also amount of heat required to change the state okay so when a water is changing into a water vapor it will take lot of heat from the surrounding so if it is taking the heat from the surrounding it is decreasing the overall temperature correct so if it is decreasing the overall temperature of the uh, <coughs> air i can add more amount of fuel and i can burn it right <coughs> so that will give me more thrust okay if only water is injected it will reduce the turbine inlet temperature but if we also add alcohol okay turbine temperature can be restored okay that means if you are putting only water temperature will decrease so you can add more fuel or what you can do is instead of adding more fuel you use a mixture of water and alcohol alcohol will automatically again raise the temperature okay also another advantage of using the alcohol is it lowers the freezing point of the water okay effect of water injection see this is a turbojet engine okay this is our maximum thrust of the star engine when it is static and you can see as the temperature is increasing from here to here see from 30 to 50 it is uh, dominant okay without water injection i can see that my thrust rating is decreasing if i use a water injection see my thrust rating goes up over here can we see this new graph so water injection is improving the thrust capacity for turbojet engine same thing happens with the turboprop engine also see as the temperature is increasing the thrust produced by, or the shock thrust for produced by the turboprop engine suddenly starts dropping like this see it starts dropping so what we do we use water injection method or you can use water plus alcohol alcohol we take methanol okay so when we take methanol mixture you will see that the thrust rating is restored so at a higher temperature also you are getting the proper thrust that is what is the advantage of this thing okay when we add the water we can add it at two different places one is the compressor inlet another one is the diffuser that is suppose for an engine suppose this is our engine compressor starts over here diffuser starts over here okay either you can add the water at the inlet of the compressor or you can add the water at the inlet of the diffuser that is up to us okay both of them have got their own advantages okay so let us understand if the water is added at the inlet of the compressor now when i say water it can be water plus alcohol okay from here on whenever i'll say water it is water plus alcohol so when we are putting it at the compressor inlet power augmentation is achieved how it is achieved because water will get vaporized over here right same thing if the water is getting vaporized it will increase the uh, sorry it will decrease the temperature so that you can add more amount of the fuel so if more amount of the fuel is added you get more amount of thrust okay higher turbine temperature is directly indication of the higher thrust if you are adding it at the inlet of the diffuser okay what will happen is when the water is added at the inlet of the diffuser mass will increase okay mass whatever is happening over here that will increase and the same mass will be applicable even to your turbine okay mass of the airflow will be applicable throughout the compressor as well as the turbine section so because of which what happens is water will come over here in the combustion chamber decrease the temperature as the temperature decreases you know you can add more amount of the fuel more amount of the fuel means more amount of the gas okay let's go ahead why are we using water there are few points to be remember the first point is it has got a high latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization you can understand that when you want to change the state of water from water to gas the amount of heat supplied is the latent heat we should always use demineralized water okay advantage of using demineralized water is you don't have to worry about the salt or other min minerals contaminating your compressor section okay that reduces your field cleaning okay next one is water injection is used fuel flow will not be reduced better what will happen is fuel flow in fact increases which will again increase our thrust see the field cleaning that i am talking about is called as a compressor field cleaning what we do is we rotate the engine and we pass the water at a very high pressure that cleans all the compressor blade if there is any contamination happening okay in the region where region like mumbai we have to clean the compressor every week okay 
see everything has got a disadvantage so water injection also has got a disadvantage the first and the most important disadvantage of this is when you are using a water injection you will need to carry a water tank then you also need a nozzle mechanism to pass the water into the compressor section right so that is going to increase the weight so that is one of the disadvantage secondly these are compressor blades suddenly i put a water that is less temperature and they are rotating at a high temperature so there are already at a higher temperature you are putting water reducing the temperature and also they are at a centrifugal force so that will cause a thermal shock to the compressor blades which can lead to the damage of compressor blade and further okay it can lead to the compressor stall we have done that in detail please go and see the previous video okay alcohol use okay <clears throat> with the water does not have the same burning characteristic what this point means is that whatever alcohol i am using as i told you in uh, told you previously only that when i use the water thrust will increase but when i use water and alcohol that is methanol thrust will increase but the methanol will act as a fuel but the fuel that it is acting is not having the same calorific value as the normal fuel that is what this point is trying to convey that you will not get the uh, correct amount of the thrust okay that's it today uh, see you next time dear bye everyone take care